this is a recording, uh, a telephone recording between myself, Les Zitting, and my younger brother, James Zitting, who is the chauffeur for Fred Jessup. This was on June 17, 2001. Les, you looking for me? Who is this? This is James. J, 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 who? James, your brother. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect you to call me. Oh, well, didn't you call and ask about mother? I sure did. How are how you doing, James? Pretty good. How is mom? She's doing real well. Uh, yesterday morning she had quite a headache, but by noon she was feeling a lot better, and she went to meeting. And Does she get headaches a lot? Not a lot. Uh, pretty much the same as she always has, it seems like. Uh -huh. You know, she used to get these mean headaches once in a while, and, uh -huh. and uh, but not too bad. Well, I know that I had a talk with her the other day, and she made a comment that they have got her on steroids. What do steroids do for that, you know? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely not medical... Uh, anything, just I just uh, I don't know what it does for, her, but she she tells me that when she's on the steroids, uh -huh. that she can only take it for a certain amount of time, uh -huh. and then she has to back off, and then after a period of time she can go back on it. But she tells me that when she's on it, it reduces uh, the problem, uh -huh. and when she goes off of it, the problem just starts all over again. Wow! And I thought, well, that's weird. Yeah. Why even keep doing this? You can't just keep doing this. That's for sure. Yeah. What is going on? And I so I was just wondering if you knew what the steroids does. If you knew, uh, uh, David would probably know more than I do because he's the one that takes it to the doctor. And well, you don't like to talk to me though. <laughs> How are you doing, James? I'm doing quite well. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Promise. Huh? <laughs> yes, I promise. <laughs> Well, I, I had never expected to have you call me. That kind of blows me away. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, do you still love me? Well, uh, yes, but I sure don't appreciate what you're doing. But you, you do what you got to do, and we do what we got to do. You do still love me, but you don't understand where I'm at, do you? Yeah, that's true. Well, I, I just almost, you know, I just wish it was, could be different, but it's the way it is. I know. Do, 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 can I ask you a, kind of a personal question? Being as you, uh, being as you show for Fred, can do you do you know where do you know where Ruby Jessup is? Well, I haven't made it any of my business, and uh, if the way I see it is, if it was my business, then then uh, he would tell me. And there's a lot that I know, but a lot that I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> you do I not do. know where she's at. I've seen her around. Since since uh, since she went back to Fred, you've seen her around? Sure I have. So she's in town out there? I don't know. I don't know if she is or not. Oh. So you just don't, you just really don't know? No, I don't. Well, have you seen her around the last two weeks? Yeah. Well, that's weird. <laughs> Somebody's lying to us. <laughs> huh? I don't know. It's, I don't know what information you've got, but she's been around and... And she's doing I know, good? I know one thing. What? And that is that I was there personally when uh, the day after she came back. Uh-huh. She was sitting there with her family. Uh-huh. She was in tears and she says, you guys don't know how glad I am to be back. Uh huh. That's what she said, and I listened to it. Uh huh. So people that say that she's there against her will, not true, not at all. Well, then why don't she contact the authorities and tell them that? Hey, she has talked to the authorities. The authorities ain't telling you everything, and the reason why they're not is because of her age. Well, we understand that she that, that someone has talked to the authorities. We don't know for a fact that it's her. Well, they've had good contact with her. So they have actually met her? You bet. That's good. Yeah. And, uh... I know for a fact that 
Yes, there was a time there where she thought that maybe she wanted to leave. But after she was gone for however many days she was, she was mighty glad to be back. She says, I found out that that isn't what I want. The what isn't what she wants? To, life, to leave, you mean? The life that the world had to offer. But the, did, the life that her brothers had to offer her. Uh-huh. So, are her, that much. Huh? I know that much. And, uh, of course, I don't even know who her brothers are. I, in fact, the truth is, I've never met, <laughs> the truth is, I've, ne I've never met Ruby. Well, I don't know her. I don't know, I don't, I, I know very few people out there because it's been so long ago. Yeah. And, uh, I, I, I just want you to know, James. I'm not against you. Well, I know that, but... Do you? There's a... There's a whole lot less to this that you guys are doing than what you are pumping up. Because there's... There's so very, very little of this. and Little of what? I've never, ever seen anybody that I've seen anybody forced to stay here. Have you ever... Have you ever talked to Flora Jessup? Yeah, I'll say I am. Have you? I was, I was very much a part of what Flora was doing before she ever left. Really? Uh -huh. And uh, are you saying that everything Flora says is a lie? No, she was not forced to stay there. She could have gone any time just like you and I could. Huh. She was not forced to stay with that in that in this community. Really? She just wasn't. Not one time. Not that I know of. She could have gone at any time. Did you guys ever get rid of people? <laughs> not that I know of. Huh? What do you mean get rid of them? Does Sam Barlow take certain people and 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 get rid of them? I don't know. You don't know. What Sam does? Huh? I don't know what Sam does. Well, I want to tell you. Sam Barlow, himself, personally, got rid of Leslie and Paul Zitting. Well, it uh, was after you guys had done what you had done. Oh, we were bad guys, yeah. man. We were bad. We were wicked. Yeah, it was after, after we all did what we did, wasn't it? I don't know anything about that. I'm, uh, well, my point was, Sam Barlow drove us out of town and got rid of us. So it does happen, and and our feelings were when that while during during the trip while it was happening, uh -huh. you guys are just a little bit too damn spunky for us, man. <laughs> we, Sorry you, about that. huh? Sorry about that. You're just. Uh, I don't think we need you here, and we want you to uh, to just go back home to your mothers in Salt Lake City and, and be good little boys. Well, what's wrong with that? Huh? What's wrong with that? Well, you don't understand. I understand that because you wasn't part of it. I you couldn't possibly understand. Well, I know one time Uncle Roy told me to pack up my stuff and leave. And that was because he thought I was messing around with one of his ladies. Well, did he? And you know what? What? He found out that I wasn't Paul. That you wasn't what? Paul. Who's Paul? Your brother. <laughs> thought that Paul was messing around with one of his ladies? He was. I was witness of it. Really? Yeah. Who was I messing around with, James? I don't know. Huh? I don't have any idea. Who was I messing with? I don't even know. And probably nobody. Hmm. Okay, so, so, so Paul was messing around with one of Leroy Johnson's women? Well, well he was just he wasn't messing around with her. He just being too friendly. Well, he was friendly with Dorothy. Right. He was friendly with Dorothy. He was being too friendly. I was I was there. Well, I gotta go. He's just driving away right now. Hey, uh, James. Thanks for calling me and letting me know about Mom. I sure do appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Yeah, you bet.